silver joker here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the two ounce silver Kraken. All right, these are premium coins. And you guys saw them on my last video when I told you guys, well, I gave you an update on my progress towards my goals at the end of the year, which is 250 ounces of silver and $200 face value in constitutional silver, right? And the only reason I'm making this video now is because a lot of the viewers that are, you know, loyal to my channel um, have, have pointed out to me that I said that I was going to be done with the premium silver that I wasn't going to be buying coins, eagles, maple leaves, and that kind of thing anytime soon. And I'm going to stick to that. And I do realize that these coins here, these two ounce Krakens are coins. They are premium coins. They carry a premium. But what I didn't tell you in the last video is that these coins right here comes from a good friend of mine, Silver 5150, who gave me a heck of a deal on them. Now, we had some other things going on, some other things that went into that deal, into that acquiring these 16 ounces, eight of these coins. And I guess I should explain that a little bit, but I got these at as close to generic silver prices as one could get. So I got these well below what they are going for online in the secondary market, well below that. So I'm gonna add them to my goal. Last video, me and Silver 5150, we had a debate also, I also posted a video where I told you guys that I think a thousand dollar silver is ridiculous. Now I'm not backtracking on that. I still believe that that is a ridiculous amount for silver anytime soon. Definitely not in my lifetime. Now, if it happens, of course, I'm going to be happy about that, but I really don't see it happening. And I gave you guys a lot of the reasons why I don't think it's going to going to be reality anytime soon, but there's something that I do need to explain. When I talk about price and value, I'm talking about two totally different things. Value is what we put on silver, is what you're willing to pay for silver, is what you're willing to take in payment for your silver. That is the value, and that's personal. That's you, that's what you put on your silver, the value. The price is derived from the market. That's the market valuating silver with a price. Probably all done with computers and algorithms, who knows? Maybe it's witchcraft. I don't know. That's spot price. So when I say that silver won't reach these high prices, that's what I mean. Now, I still don't believe that even with us determining what the value is personally, I don't think that we're going to hit $50 or $100 and definitely not $1,000 anytime soon. I believe that that price that we're willing to pay for silver is going to stay right around $30, maybe a little bit less. I can see the premiums did come down just a little bit. I mean, you'd have to have a lot of factors that go into the economy and other things to bring that silver price up. What will have to happen as far as I'm concerned is people are going to have to just totally have no confidence in the dollar. And I just don't see that happening anytime soon. I think what people see is there is a need to have something other than fiat currency just in case something happens with our our money system. You know, because we see that happening in other countries where they're limiting how much access you have to cash, to physical fiat currency. And so I think a lot of people are starting to see that maybe there's a little bit of an issue there, maybe a little bit of urgency there to kind of have something else instead of relying on the government's idea of your financial health, <laughs> which is the dollars. As we've seen, silver is starting to pick up momentum when people understanding that that's where we're headed. We're headed to, to needing something that's outside of our current financial system. And I think that's why silver has picked up pace 
But you'll notice that even with the demand where it is, I mean, because I can still go down to my local corn store and he'll be out of stuff. Not like it was, you know, four years ago, five years ago, where I could get whatever I wanted in the amounts that I wanted. That's pretty much not been the case for a few years now. And it doesn't look like it's getting any better. So I think the demand is there, but the demand has not changed the price of silver. With all the stuff that went on in the past couple years, it should have moved the needle on silver more than what it done. And it hasn't done that. So I don't think that that's going to change because I think things are starting to look a little bit better. Who knows how long that's going to last. And I know I'm going to get some pushback on that. But from what I see, gas prices are still high. Groceries are still high, but it looks like they're not going up. <laughs> and so I don't think, I think if silver was going to do anything, it would have done it already. So anyway, I don't want to, you know, beat a dead horse, but that's where I stand on it. So I really wanted to make this video just to kind of clarify that so you guys, because I tell you that the, the price and the value is different. The value is what we put on it. So the value of silver, I believe, is at $30 or $35 because that's what we're willing to pay for silver. You know, it's in the, the high 20s, 25, 27, that kind of thing. So we're willing to pay that. So that's the value of silver. The price is still down around 22, 23 bucks. And I think that's where we're going to be for the near future. Anyway, just a quick video today. I'm going to start making a lot more of these little quick videos where I can touch base with you guys, kind of, you know, be on the air kind of every day or try to be on the air every day, you know, short videos. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And, you know, let's just keep this silver train rolling. I mean, that's what we're doing. Anyway, keep stacking. Peace.